Hello, my name is Austin and this is RACES Support Desk. Today we are going to be learning about our optical network terminals. All RACE customers will have an ONT in their home. It is required to be able to have fiber optic internet into the house. Most of our customers will have this, our 803G. For our 10 gig markets, you will get the GP1101X. You can compare these devices to what you would consider a modem. In this case, a modem would have a copper line going to it and our optical network terminals have a fiber line. These are the fiber optic cables that you may see in your home. This is what we call a patch cable and this is the line that may be going inside your house, either from outside onto a pole or out into an underground. All of your data comes in through one of these two lines. And from here, you have your optical network terminal and your optical cable. Once they are hooked up, you then now have fiber optic internet to your home. As you can see on these devices, they are labeled with power, broadband, service, ethernet, and phone. As you can see on the right hand side, it is labeled voice instead of phone. When these devices are fully lit up, depending on the services that you have, will indicate which lights are illuminated. If you just have our internet service, you will have the power, broadband, service, and ethernet light lit up. All four of those should be green. The ethernet light may flicker, but that is an indication that it's communicating between the device, which is the ONT, and the router, or a computer, or whatever device you have connected to either, to either of the ethernet ports. If you see any of these lights showing up yellow or red, please contact our support department at 877-722-3833 if you do notice that the power light is showing a red flashing we do recommend that you do power cycle the device on these devices they are relatively the same so what you will do is have the barrel plug on this one and the barrel plug on this one you'll just unplug them for about 10 to 15 seconds and then plug them back in once they have been plugged back in you should see briefly the power light turning on and it will be red. From there, it'll change to a flashing green. Once the flashing green has stopped and the power light is a solid green, that is an indication that the device itself is fully rebooted. If by chance you only have power and ethernet lit up, there is something wrong with the infrastructure. We will need to get a technician out. But before we can confirm that, please call into our support department at 877-722-3833 so one of our technicians can help you with that.